Yo, what's up, what's the dark? Also, you're doing well, welcome. Um, so basically, I know a lot of people have been saying about certain cards being used in the Dark Magician build, obviously using the ability. I'm going to try and get them at some point. You know, I don't have the money to invest into this game on a daily basis to open up packs and try and obtain these cards, you know. Um, so far, I think my build's okay. I can't remember if I've adjusted it. There are some cards I do want to implement into this deck to make it obviously better, obviously, regarding Dark Magician. There is also Emergency Teleport. Um, and there's another card as well. As you can see, I'm very heavy on the spells. Um, I haven't really ran anything major in the trap department, like, section. But quite frankly, I haven't really been playing ranked much, obviously. I've been doing the uh, story mode event and things like that. But anyway, let's just jump in. I the only downfall to Dark Magician, in my opinion, I feel like it's a very... Um, it's a very... I want to say stooly, but it's not stooly. It's very... Um, like with Guildford, I kind of knew the direction I was going with it. Where with Dark Magician, I'm in a very troublesome position because... I have no immunity to destruction, so if obviously Blue Eyes does come out and gets destroyed, it can come and backfire on me. I just kind of need to find this diverse balance. Obviously, when I do get the other cards, like Dark Magician, we can obviously consider swapping out certain cards and, well, Dark Magician go and swapping out some cards. Okay, so we have the setup. The only thing is we don't necessarily have any spells. Um, I don't have my Super Speed or Hyper Speed, whatever it is, yet. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand tight to my chest and basically let the first turn play out. Um, but yeah. To be honest, it's been interesting uh, seeing how certain things are played. Like I don't search decks on Crostal because you need the resources to be able to build those decks anyway. So I only manage... This is why, obviously, you're probably like, why don't you have Dark Magician Go? You should need Dark Magician Go. And it's like, you know... I'm aware of what I need. I just need to know. I need to grind enough to be able to obviously open up packs. So hopefully after this first door, we'll be able to open two sets of packs. If I could potentially pull some super rares in it, then it's great. It's beneficial. Okay. So the Neos has come out. Which is fine. We're basically granting the bonus. Unless it's got something to counter it. I don't really have to worry too much. Um, to be honest, quite frankly, I don't really have much to worry about at the moment anyway. The only thing is... We should be A-OK. -okay. Obviously, his ability plays off, which reduces the Neos, but the Neos gets destroyed, which obviously allows him to bring it back with, obviously, faster speed. Um, so, taking that into account, I need to figure out on how i'm going to play this i have been test running this deck with members in obviously custom games and stuff so it's not as if i haven't been practicing i just haven't really played ranked much i got to what i needed to which was obviously platinum um so that's all i really needed to obviously attain um with the guildford deck and now we can kind of focus on this build um i'm gonna to have to play a card anyway that's gonna be the bottom line of it um, I could go reincarnation, but we don't want to add the card back to our hand because we have six in hand already. Obviously, if the end phase of players, then we have to discard a card. So uh, we're just going to go here. I can go stop defense if need be, but this Edison has now decided to set up the dark power terrain, yummy, um, in the lane heading on me. And to be honest, it feels refreshing to be able to come back and obviously do this content again. You know what I mean? Um... Obviously, once you have a break from it, you have kind of a breath of fresh air, you know. Um, okay. Well, I could go with... What's in defense mode? Why can I activate stop defense? Am I... Am I oh, it's the Exodia. I wasn't even looking at the Guardian. I was looking on the field. I was thinking... What? Don't get me wrong, in the long term, like, during the next phase, I probably will do it. But it depends on who this person's really going to play off and go up against. So I need to go with some sort of defensive approach. 
maybe I could play life absorbing machine now just in case he does play it in my lane and decide to go for my life points we get the 16 is it 1600 it's 200 per level star in it I think it's 1600 okay this does open the door a bit to a potential dark magician play um so i'm gonna go life absorbing machine in middle not in middle there does trap shoot and then okay that resonator i'm gonna drop dark magician down and then i will end my turn there I, I probably could have made a different approach with that and not gone Dark Magician so early. But, you know. Okay. That's annoying because now he has stealth, so it allows him to get that direct attack on me. Darn it. Shame I don't have that block attack. Um, Yeah, fair play. Well played. It's... It's fine, but also it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think how I want to play it because. Let's do this. If we're going to do it, then we may as well get some attack boost here, and then that can send forward. All this four can bring out Neos and go straight back in that lane, potentially. And also my attack. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? I was too focused on this guy that I forgot about the 2000 defense. Mate, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. Bear with me. I record late. You know what I mean? And I sh should start setting an actual time for a recording session. I do plan to set up a schedule. If anything, it would be 6 through to 8 live streams every night. No well, not every night, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the 1200 damage. It's fine. It does put me into last place. Either way, Duelist 1 is focused solely on 2000. Even if we stall out a couple of turns and a Duelist 4 does go with Neos, we still get the boost anyway. I have Shield and Sword. Okay. Either way, he has to attack me now. I'm not going to play in that lane either. Um, so, with the position we're in, I'm going to go 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 Magician just in case Neos comes into our lane. It hasn't. This guy has definitely got a vendetta against this guy. He really does not want to. Okay. Man, this guy's got a grudge on me as well. Mate, you have got a Neos charging at you at full blast, and you're thinking, hmm, let's go for this guy. Idiot. Au revoir, Dark Magician. Yeah, sit that in your pipe and eat it. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Won't activate it yet. We'll stall it out. See, he's going to fire straight across, destroy the Exodia. So this guy's very limited on his play. He'll have to bring... He'll either have to take the direct attack or... Next turn, or... Bring his Dark Magician for that lane. This is good. Giant Trunade. I, I can't see him summoning on me, but also I'm kind of open to the idea of seeing where this could go. So I'm going to go attack mode here. Do I stay in defense or do I push for attack? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to ready up. Obviously, normally I hold it out in defense mode at this point, but because we get into later game, I was thinking, you know what? Yeah, it's a difficult one because, you know what? We'll stay in defense mode. We'll use the spells we have. If we pick up more spells, at least we have the benefits of that kind of play playing off. The only thing I've got to worry about is... I don't know. He had no protection either. Wow. Okay, this is fine. Not the monster I wanted, but I'll tolerate it. He does give me a life points, a bit of a boost as well. And also I can switch that. So you got swords, which will 
Okay, I don't see why that makes any difference. You've used swords to gain what? You haven't benefited anything. Um, we'll persevere. Although, if he gets a direct attack... I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so he got a direct attack. I feel like it's time we start pushing on Edison now, then. Although, as much as I don't want to go with that approach, there's 800. That puts me back on 36. The only problem I've got here now is the fact this monster has seal. But I have some Sara, which I could add back you. Right, I'm going to go attack mode here. He's going to have to attack anyway. He's going to seal it off. So obviously, our reincarnation doesn't work, unfortunately. But I can go shield and sword and switch it. Put that other monster on 300 attack. Hopefully pick up a monster if I can. Or I use shield and sword on my actual monster. But I feel like this duel is going to be coming to a close very quickly. This guy has no protection. That's mind-blowing. Shield and sword. If they all do decide to summon on me, at least have giant true nade. The only problem with giant true nade, I never. It never, ever gets used, really, on my part. Well, this duel's done. On the upside, I slow, slightly secured myself second place. But yeah, like I said, for the current deck build we've got at the moment, it's not the greatest, you know? I need to um, obviously acquire the cards that we need massively for this type of deck build, but with the attack directly, at least we got second place. That's the plus, you know? Obviously, this is where the burn damage comes in handy. I could potentially add some healing alternative cards... But yeah, um, but yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know the most annoying part about this? I need forty. Well, I need thirty-seven gems. That's it. I need thirty-seven gems, and for me, that's all I really need to acquire. Based upon the ranking, it's not too bad. The score's there. It's just, yeah, it's not a, it doesn't bother me about getting those gems. The 100 gems would be great, so we can open two sets of packs. So, unfortunately, we can't open up the packs yet. Um, I could, but it wouldn't be beneficial for at all. But anyway, we're going to jump into the next duel, and let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. Let's get into this. What is our star in hand? Okay, this is not bad. Enemy controller, poisonous winds, block attack... Uh, we can bring Dark Magician out straight off the bat, but personally, I want to wait because I need to know what lane I'm going to be defending. Um, it's a little concerning. Obviously, it's the first time I've ever seen everyone using mats, which is quite interesting. Um, I come, I've come to the conclusion that if you use mats, it opens you up to be a target. I'm not even joking. I genuinely think that's a legitimate uh, cross duel rule. Um, you know, get the guy with the map. But yeah, okay. So, so far, we're okay. We have an inventor build as well, which could open the doors to a potential seven road, um, which I don't see that often anymore, to be honest. We also have a big up uh, focus situation. I can't remember. I think it's draggy as she used to use the focus playoff but these two are going to basically collide and kill each other so there's an opening for someone to acquire the okay machine duplication which potentially may lead into the um 
either V to Z, burn monster, well, Dragapult cannon, or it will be a playoff into the Power Ranger. Obviously, I don't own either of the Guardian cards, so I am completely out the loop in regards to how this is going to play out, to be honest. Um, but I do have a chance of potentially getting this Ace card. Oh, it's on 18. Oh, wait, hold up a minute. Was that because of Focus? Oh, it was because of Focus. I completely went over my head. Okay. I have to play a card here, unfortunately. Um, I can't make the mistake of having seven cards in hand. I don't want to go Dark Magician yet because if it gets destroyed, it's dead. Um, so I'm going to go with Go 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 Magician. But... We go defense mode. Only saying that because if it's reincarnation pops off and we attack a higher level monster, a higher attack monster, we get seven cards in hand and yet again I've got to discard a card. We want to kind of salvage and balance how many cards we potentially have. Yes, I could go with a spell card, but it's fine. We're going to work with something. We're going to work. Okay. So you've got Z-Metal Tank in center. Stardust, obviously, on the far left for the other duelist opposite him. Um, my Giga Ga Magician is just chilling with the reincarnation. We have a Giant Soldier of Stone. Everyone's holding in defense mode, so this is good for me. This is very beneficial at this point because with them being in defense mode and no one's wanting to push, it's going to be a heavy burn type battle. And if it comes to it, I, I don't want to give my game plan straight off the bat. You know, this guy has brought out his Cohesion Stardust. Nothing I, I have to worry about. I have to worry about Enrolando. Is that how it's pronounced? Enrolando? Enrolando? Or is it Enrolando? Rolando? But yeah, I have to obviously concern myself to whether or not he's going to bring Seven Roads out. This is why the Dark World Shackles is just Chef's Kiss. It's that protection to that hyperspeed. Um, but yeah. Okay. I feel like I want to start playing off these spells, but I also am a little bit worried it will get destroyed. And also, I've got to take into account is the fact that I need... <sighs> if, if it is correct, he is going to have, he is going to have seven road, yeah? Which means I'm going to have to push on someone. So it's either going to have to be X or it's going to have to be Emrelado because my Gaga Magician's there. So I'm going to go Dark Resonator, Dark Magician, because I don't think it's going to bother me. I, I have to play something here. So all we do, as, as long as no one has blue eyes. Okay, what did he summon? I think he went Stargazer for the immunity to destruction, which is a f solid play. But... To play in attack mode, I don't know if that was a good play on his part. Um, yes, I can go block attack. I can go enemy controller. We can go shackles. We can go samsara. Um, but yeah. Okay. It's good because obviously... Okay, I'll go block attack first. Because then that way, if I need B, enemy control is there if I need to. I should have went maybe... Uh, mm, I suppose block attack can be safe for you to push Dark Magician up and then potentially, you know, hold down the reins on it. I want to go Samsara just for reincarnation, but the only problem with reincarnation, isn't it? Nah, I'm not going to activate it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay. Witch of the Black Rose. So this is another monster that will gain a tap based upon the spell play. At this point in time, I don't... <sighs> It, it, it's stupid not to play a monster, but also you don't want to draw the attention to you with Seven Road. But also we do have Dark World Shackles if push comes to shove. Um, okay, I'm going to 
send you forward and I'm going to ready up. Until Emrola Lando uh, comes for us, um, I won't play a card there. I have the shackles. But then, doesn't Seven Roads gain the immunity? Okay, so he's still very eager on bringing the Stardust to us. It's fine. Knock yourself out, mate. The thing is, it's getting to that point where I'm even considering myself of just kicking its fucking ass. Um... Not yet. I don't want to dive into a play yet. I want to be very cautious. We're only on turn four, so we need to hold out some form of time. Uh, Kakut, I don't know exactly what he has for in his hand. And the same with Exux, but I think he's a little nervous about the Dark Magician. That's why he keeps coming for it. Personally, I would have kept my Stargazer in defense mode, but each to their own. You know what I mean? Uh, this is where my stop defense would come in handy because I could play off my stop defense if I needed to. But what I am going to do, I'm going to go in with Cyburst Wizard and I'm going to play this Witch in defense mode. This will leave me a nice opening on my hand. If someone does start pushing forward, let's say x Sooks does decide to summon in my lane again, I can go Poisonous Winds, Immobilize, slash the attack, and still inflict damage. But... Six, seven, you want to get around turn seven, eight. That's when you want to just fucking hammer the spell cards. But yeah. Okay, this is fine. He has decided to play another run monster in my lane, which allows Poisonous Winds to now crack on. He's got two face down cards as well, which is another reason why I don't want to push on into an attack play. We've got enough spellcasts to sustain our victory here anyway, you know. Um, so we're good on that front. Obviously, yes, we will destroy the V-Tiger jet, but also he may have all the disruption. He may have... I don't know. I don't even know who even got the bonus card, to be honest. Oh, it was this guy on... Which means he may have Ring of Destruction or Mirror Force or Megamorph. There's obviously... I don't know why I keep getting Twitch notifications, man. Go away. Um, activate this in this lane. Poisonous winds. Cut you all down. Shut you down. All get a boost. Life point damage. Mate, he should have just focused his attention elsewhere. You know what I mean? Um, at this point, I'm fine. Right, I'm going to start triggering off a play now. Next turn, the enemy controller for Stardust gets put into motion. I need the Seven Roads to focus his attention on him and not in my direction. Although, in theory, if... Kakute does play. Oh. It was a good job we did poisonous winds there because that would have been us getting destroyed. Okay, mate. Phantom. Oh, collapse. Sorry. Damn. My man was trying to play off that collapse combo. Okay. One thing I've come to learn about Crossdoor, man, take your time on your turns. I swear to you, it's one of the best things you can do. I used to rush, and it was one of the worst decisions I'd ever done. Okay. I'm going to play in attack mode here. Because it makes sense to obviously get the boost. Either way, we should be able to wrap this up. Unless, you know. But the thing is, even if it is Wall of Disruption... Um... I, I suppose we can potentially benefit off of this. I'm trying to check that card he played. Okay. You've summoned another monster in my lane.
Did you play it in Stardust? Yeah, I played it in Stardust Lane. That's cool. That's cool. Ah, oh, that's good. I don't have to worry about it now. The thing that's going to be interesting is I don't know whether to keep... Obviously, I've just upgraded my phone. So I'm like, do I keep this phone and just do Master uh, cross Duel content on it? Or do I... Save it. But yeah. I'm curious... Well, to be fair, if he had Wall of Disruption, it would have popped off when that... Has he attacked directly? I can't remember. Miracles wait. Okay, his trap's activated now. Which special summons? Oh, mate, this is Kushti. We're good then. We got this. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's time. Enemy controller. Unless someone goes to defend him. If he does, then it ain't in the ass. Okay. Whoa, hold up. Okay, no, that's fine. If I turn that back to my hand, I've got no complaints. Just in case. That should be game. I don't see if he has anything to counter it, but I think we should be fine. Leave him on 300, drops him down to 27, 27 direct damage. Oh. So we had Megamorph in the end. Okay. Wait, 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 what? Why would you sw why would you switch that? Oh my god, no way. With great power comes great responsibility. Well, I don't understand why he went for that though. Why would you not target Cyburst Wizard? See, ladies and gentlemen, I said to you all, didn't I? I said, don't worry about my deck profiles. I will eventually work something out. Even despite the main cards, we seem to be playing well. And y'all have got to understand that. We're chilling. Except this guy's going to get a bit of life points, but it's fine. We get most. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I potentially could open up some packs, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have enough gems. Bear with me. Okay, so we're 40 short. Actually, I might be able to get them in the reward screen. I've got 10. Is there anything else they want to give me? No. Okay, so we're 30 short. In the next episode, we will potentially get a pack opening going. Although, I may wait out for the event because you never know what might come around the corner. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what deck you use. Take care. Peace.